Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have some more project shares and these are projects I made as part of the design team for KS Craft for their April 2022 release. Um, this is part two of the April release projects and I'd gotten these dies after I got the May ones, but it's all good because they're super cute and you can use them any time of the year. So uh, like I said, this is part two. I will link part one down below in the description box if you missed that one. But um, these are the rest of the dies that I received. I made some super cute projects with them, I think, and I'm looking forward to showing you. If you have any questions, please let me know. All the products will be linked below and I will try to remember to measure everything to give you an idea of how big they are as well. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first die set I got is called the Shabby Chic Pinwheels dies. And this comes with all three different sizes, a uh, large, smaller, and a medium one. And they're shabby chic because they have eyelet, uh, like scalloped trim on the edge of each piece of the pinwheel. And it also comes with scalloped um, insets, not scalloped, stitched insets for each side of the pinwheel as well. So there are holes on the corners and in the middle, which is what you need for pinwheels. So I made one of each size. I also used this. This is part of the April release as well, but I had gotten it in our previous design team package. This is called the um, Full of Plus Signs A2, or Full of Plus A2 Background Frame Die. So you can use this as a card front of an A2 size card. Um, it cuts out the plus sign, so you could cut it out, cut it out a couple of times, and then you know paper piece in some of the pluses. It comes with the stitch rec rectangle that pops out, and um, you can use that for an inset here, or use it for any other project you want. Um, did I say? Yeah, they're stitching around it. So I'll show you that for one of the projects. So. Um, let me show you, these are the small and large pinwheels. Aren't they pretty? I decided to go with kind of like a shabby uh, paper choice since they're called shabby chic pinwheels. So I used some Aralami Ha Shop uh, floral papers, they're digital papers, and then I used coordinating solid papers for the base of the pinwheel. And I used teeny tiny button brads that I'd gotten at uh, Michael's on clearance last year. So aren't they adorable? And I just mounted them on some coordinating lollipop sticks that I've had for a long time, and I hot glued them onto the onto the sticks. They don't work; they're more just decoration. But these will look cute, like you know, stuck in your decor. You could even put them in a flower pot if you be careful not to get water on them. So let me just measure these for you. Um, the large one is, let's see, from end to end, it's about three inches. So the small one is two and a quarter-ish, maybe a little bit more. So I thought those were super cute. And I just tied some pretty satin ribbon on the bottom in a coordinating color. This is the, actually, you know what? This is the medium one, it's not the small one. The small one I put on a card. So this is the card that I made with the small pinwheel and with that A2 plate die. So the small pinwheel is, that one is one and about seven eighths inches across. And I just think that is adorable. I put it on a pink uh, lollipop stick and um, I cut out the, the plate die with the yellow polka dot paper and then with the floral pink paper. And I just did a little bit of paper piecing. Um, it didn't take long at all. It's not hard to do. And then I did cut out that, that rectangle with that pink floral paper, paper as well and just mounted it inside there. Um, a treat for you is also from KS Craft. This is from the May release, I believe. So I cut that out again out of some Dollar Tree foam board and a couple of pieces of solid colors. And um, so the way I mounted the lollipop stick is I just cut um, through the foam board, um, I cut just kind of like a channel to 
to feed the lollipop stick through just with my X-Acto knife. Otherwise, it would be too bulky to put this on top of the lollipop stick. So I think that came out so cute. I love the colors, the uh, mints and pinks and yellows. That's kind of the theme of my projects today. And this is a A2 size card. Uh, I didn't do anything on the inside yet, but I think the outside is super cute. And this would go great in the A2 box um, die set that I showed in my last video. So there's that one. Hope you guys like it. So let's move on to the next one. The next one is the cotton candy shaker die. So I'll move over the older one and we'll get out the cotton candy shaker. This one's so cute. It comes with um, comes with the frame piece, of course, and then it has some texture, some embossing on the uh, stick, which is cute. So you can make it look like wood or whatever. Uh, it comes with the background piece to you know make it into a shaker. If you want to, you don't have to. And then it comes with this face set, um, a bow, and then another bow as well. And I just used this one. I didn't use any of these inside pieces. So I made another card and I made it into a shaker. Isn't that adorable? Um, let me measure this for you. And this is about four and a half inches long and let's see, about two and a half inches across. So I use the craft, um, uh, not craft, Cricut craft board paper in the pink holographic because I thought that would be great for a uh, cotton candy project. You can see the embossing there. It looks beautiful with that paper. And I used Dollar Tree foam board again to pop it up, put some acetate on the front and some doodle bug polka dot paper in the background. And then I filled it with some clay sprinkles and diamond dots. Um, I thought they looked very kind of ice creamy, but they go good with cotton candy as well. There's that bow. It comes with that little layering piece, which is nice, and it cuts out the lines in the bow too, which is a nice touch, I think. Uh, Sweet Birthday Wishes, that's uh, a stamp set that I just got. I'll haul that coming up next Friday. And I had this heart die in my stash, and I just heat embossed it onto there. This is some digital paper as well. And yeah, just a bunch of different uh, coordinating papers stacked up to give it a little bit of texture and interest. So of course the cotton candy is the main focus and I think it looks really, really pretty. The inside, this is a new stamp I got from Impression Obsession and uh, I thought it was perfect for a sweets kind of themed card. So yeah, sweet birthday wishes. It's a little high for an envelope, but again, you can use one of those A2 box, uh, 8 to envelope boxes. So. so there's that project. Hope you like that one as well. The next item is the cute pizza dies. And I have to be honest, when I saw this, I thought, uh, how am I going to make pizza look cute? So it was a challenge and I think it came out really, really nice. So it comes with the base piece of the pizza, a slice of pizza, and then this is like the cheese on top. Uh, it comes with like these heart pepperonis that have a little bit of embossing on them, on them and uh, a layering piece of the crust. And the wording says, you got a pizza, my heart. It's just kind of mixed up right here, but uh, I thought that was cute and kind of clever. And I do like the font, the nice script and the words, uh, the words pop out separately, but not each letter separately, so that's nice. That's a good thing about script fonts. They usually come all together. So here's the card that I made, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I really wasn't sure how pizza would look cute, but I think this really does. I think because I used some yellow gingham paper for the cheese, and then I used some solid, like dark red paper for the pepperonis, and you can see a little bit of embossing there, but you can um, add to that with some stickles or something. That would look nice. I didn't do that. And I used some almond cream um, basil cardstock for the crust and just a piece of two millimeter tan foam for the background just to pop it up a little bit. For You Got a Pizza My Heart, I used that same dark red cardstock, and I also used um, the uh, tan behind that as well and offset it just because I like to do that with my sentiments. Uh, I thought a plate would look nice behind the piece of pizza, so I had these oval kind of dies in my stash and I layered them to make it look kind of like a paper plate. 
and I just found some papers that I had that I really liked and I thought they were kind of, I don't know, kind of tablecloth-y, but not really. And they're, they kind of fade into the background, which is nice because I wanted this to be the focus. These are uh, dies that I recently hauled, the uh, square dies. So I thought that would be perfect size for this pizza slice and the sentiment. So really, really cute. Uh, the pizza slice is three inches by... Uh, one and seven eighths about. So uh, for the words, you know, each word is different, but the biggest word is one and a quarter by uh, half an inch. So uh, not huge, but a good size for a card because there are quite a lot of sentiments or quite a lot of words. I didn't do anything on the inside of that yet, but this card, I think this is like a five inch card. Yeah, that's a five inch square card. So I hope you like it. I was um, very pleasantly surprised with this one. I, I love how it came out. So there's that. All right, let's move on to the cute frost piping tool shaker dies. So I love this. This is a, a icing piping bag and it comes with the um, comes with the base and the layering part to make it a shaker. Uh, it comes with these layering pieces, the nozzle, and then this piece can either go here or up on the top as like a clip. So I put mine on the top as a clip, but um, I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I love this one too. I made it very doodle buggy. So this is the card that I made. Um, I used for, well, for the piping bag, let's measure that while I'm thinking of it. That is three and a half, almost three and a half inches long by... Uh, one and it, one and a quarter inches wide about. So um, I used some Dollar Tree foam board to do the uh, popping it up so I would have enough room for my shaker bits. So I used some clay bits, some diamond dots, some little uh, seed beads in a pastel mix that I had. And then for those layering pieces, I used a silver, kind of a matte metallic just to make it look like a real, um, you know, bakery tool. Uh, this is a piece of Doodlebug Ephemera, and I added some Lawn Fawn uh, glaze. It's like their um, uh, glossy accents. And this is also a, a new stamp that I just got, which I'll show you guys in my next haul. And then I just glued on these heart clay bits all over the place because I thought they, you know, just kind of went back to the ones that are in the piping bag and just added some fun and whimsy to it. Just layered a few different papers on the back. This paper here, the card base, is that Cricut, um, those card bases that I just got on clearance at Michael's. And I love the texture on them. These are amazing. And the inside, I used that same stamp that I showed you before. So isn't that adorable? Uh, I know I keep saying that, aren't these cute? Aren't these adorable? But I just, I'm really happy with these. So this is an A2 size card to give you an idea of the size. And I think uh, this is a great focal point for a card, for recipe books, for mini albums, tags. You know, it's a good substantial size, but not too big that you can't, you know, it's, it's, it's versatile. So there's that one. Next, we have the cute bear dies. And this bear is really, really cute. So the base comes like this and it has embossed hearts in the, in the ears, which is so cute. It embosses some eyebrow lines, but if you don't use them as eyebrows, you don't really notice them, which is nice. It comes with glasses, eyes, um, little paws, uh, two different noses, one that's a little bit bigger than the other, and they emboss hearts in the center, which is a really nice touch. Um, these kind of like heart antenna that you can add, a bow, and then it comes with a letter that you can add to the uh, envelope. And this cuts out this V here, which is a really nice touch. So this uh, paper slides right in there. You can make him holding a heart, a donut with a layering piece, a cup of coffee, and the coffee comes with a lid and a sleeve. So, so many nice, thoughtful touches to this bear. I can't wait to show you the ones that I made. So I made a few. Um, I made this one first. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest little thing? And the eyes, I copied the way they were done on the website. Um, I used a white acrylic pen, paint pen, to do the big dots. And then I used my gel marker to do the small dots. I just, I had a hard time doing the big dots with my gel marker for some reason. So I got out my acrylic paint pens. And uh, yeah, I just used different uh, papers just to, I don't know, just to 
uh, try different things out. Um, I did use my white gel pen to fill in the embossing on the ear, so I thought that was cute. And this one I used the heart, and it does emboss the XOXO, but I covered that up with a little sticker that says hello. So the bear itself is about a little bit over three inches long by one and three quarter inches wide. So there's that one, and I didn't glue the, the um, heart antenna on yet. I just put some washi tape there to hold it in place. So there's one and then I made one holding a coffee cup. Isn't he cute? And for the eyebrows I just went over with my white gel marker on there and then I think yeah I added a couple things of glitter. I don't know if you could see that but I love the coffee cup that um, I made. I used a little purple gingham paper for that and then I added a little heart bling from Joann's on the center of the sleeve. So very simple but so cute. She's got some pink glasses on her peachy fur. So I like that one. So simple. And then this one I used a pattern paper for the bear itself. I used purple polka dot and I made a coordinating donut. I used a bow in her hair instead of the glasses. So for the ones without the glasses, it looks good if you use the bigger nose, like the ones with the glasses have, the, the ones that I made have the little nose. So I did that and then I filled in the inside with some stickles. So very, very cute, right? And then I added a little bit of gray alcohol marker on the sides of the paws, just so you could kind of see them a little bit like a shadow. And these are Nouveau drops for the, um, for on the frosting itself. So there's that one. And then I made one with a peachy keen face as well. So I want to show you that too. Isn't that adorable? This is actually a gingerbread face. That's all I have are gingerbread faces from peachy keen, but they're very versatile. So you can use them for whatever. And like I said, the uh, eyebrow lines from the dye emboss on it, but you can't really notice it if you don't use them as that. So, you know, I'm just gonna go with that. So this one, this has the little, uh, uh, note card in the envelope and I did a, a stamp from Lawn Fawn on it that fits perfectly and it does come out. I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, I did do some inking on the outside of this one with some vintage photo distress oxide. I used my Jean Davenport uh, chalks to add some blush on her cheeks and this one I wanted to give a little outfit so I just cut it. I cut the bear shape out again in this this heart paper and then just kind of um, did some decorative cutting on the pants and then for the top I added a piece of regular rickrack just to make it look like an outfit. It looks like pajamas I think so. I thought that one was adorable and I did add the antenna on this one to coordinate with the envelope. So yeah, you could do them in lots of different ways and uh, you know, they're very cutesy like this or they're sweeter I think like that. You know, use your imagination for what kind of faces you want to use or you know, whatever kind of uh, style you want to make yours in. So there's that. And then I have one more for you today, and this will be it for my April um, project shares. This one is called the Heart Ice Cream Dies, and this is a cute, simple set, but it's very versatile. It comes with the ice cream cone base itself, and then it comes with the layering piece that's stitched, and it has drip lines on the bottom, which is very nice. And you can make as many of these as you want and just stack them up. It also comes with this die that cuts out like the waffle cone lines on a cone. So I did use that. And then if you want to cut out sprinkles, you could do that as well. And I did use some of those. So let me show you my project. I made like a shabby sheet card out of those. I've really been into making cards this, this time. So again, I used some Aralami Hashop uh, papers that I downloaded from Etsy. So I, yeah, I wanted to make this kind of like a shabby sheet card. So I cut the base of the cone out in very pale pink. And then I did edge it with some vintage photo distress oxide. The waffle part I cut out of a tan paper and I did uh, ink that a little bit as well. And then each of these papers is a different shabby chic paper. I did do a little inking on the edges of those as well. Only the middle one I put some of the sprinkles and those are the sprinkles that I cut out with the die set. And this comes from um, My Creative Time, I believe this die is from. And this is a stamp from Michael's that I got a while ago. I just thought the sentiment went well. 
Um, I'm not crazy about the font with this. It's a little, I don't know, a little cutesy for, for a shabby looking card, but I think it works because I did do it in pink. So, And then I added a pink card base and some pink Nouveau drops in the corners just to add a tiny bit of bling to it. So the cone itself with one of the um, ice cream scoops is, it's about two and a half inches long by two, uh, one and three quarter inches wide. And again, you know, you can add as many scoops as you want on top and uh, you could even add other toppings. I was thinking about adding a cherry on top or something, but I just went with what the die set has for right now. So um, the inside, I just added another piece of that paper. I didn't add a sentiment or anything yet, but I do love the colors and patterns on this card. So actually, I think um, all the colors this time that I used, I just really love. I love how everything is uh, soft and pretty and springy and summery. And yeah, it was really fun. These were really fun to make for sure. And, you know, looking forward to getting my next design team package from Chaos Craft. They're always, always so fun. So that's it for today. Uh, all links will be down below. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, let me know down in the comment box. And I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week. Bye, everybody.